Hey guys, today we are going to be making a chainsaw whip. This build is pretty easy actually. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really like the way that the handle turned out. I'm still trying to practice how I'm going to like, swing this around for the demos if I do make, make a demo. Uh, please be very careful when building this. As you can see, the chainsaw blade is very sharp or not as you can see, you should just naturally know that chainsaw blades are sharp. Um, yeah, well, have fun watching. Okay guys, for this build you're going to need three main materials, some epoxy, a hammer handle, and a chainsaw blade, or chainsaw chain, whatever you want to call it. We are going to cut the top part of the handle off with the jigsaw so this line doesn't interfere. Okay, now you're gonna have to cut the chain. Now you have to be very, very careful while doing this because this is not a solid piece and it could come around and bite you. I'm gonna try to use my jigsaw while it's hooked up in the vise to take care of it. But please be super, super careful with this. Okay, so I got the chainsaw blade off after cutting it, trying to back through the hammer, and finally it snapped whenever I used um, those vice grips. But now I'm gonna clean my workshop before I could continue any further. Okay guys, this is kind of poor. If you're gonna add a handle or something, um, or sorry, a handle wrap, I suggest doing it now, because once that chain is on, you're never gonna be able to get it off. Ty, do I have a black jacket in the back of my Seriously, mom, I'm freaking recording. Oh, sorry. Okay, now it is time for the epoxy. You're probably gonna need a lot of it. I'm gonna warn you, this part might get messy. Actually, no, it will get messy. So, kinda um, be prepared to clean up a mess. Make sure you're doing something you can throw away too. Like, I'm just uh, using a, a piece of paper for this because I don't really care about it. Alright, first thing, get a big wad of it and just pour it into the uh, handle, make sure you coat all sides. The connection here has to be really, really good. So I use, not they're not a sponsor, they're not a sponsor of this video, but uh, I like to use 5 minute Gorilla Epoxy. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a very, very strong glue, and it's kind of required for this. You, you can't use that cheap stuff. Um, 
pour offs, it may crack off, and this is, believe me, man, um, the consequences could be disastrous if this were to break off. Okay, so the glue's dried and this is the finished product. All right, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm gonna be making the weapon demo for this very, very soon. Hopefully I don't cut myself while I'm doing it or like slash myself while I am building, or no, while I am filming it. Because obviously, this is, this weapon is a little out of control. It's kind of crazy. Well, all right, see you next time.